Hello everybody, this is Jacob Rakowski coming to you from the pool. And I had a one-on-one -on -one this morning with a guy that was my waiter actually on Sunday. We went out to celebrate Kelly's birthday, pre-birthday. Pre Her birthday's Friday, but we went out to celebrate it. And I gotta admit, that day I was just toast. I mean, from flying to St. Louis, getting up early for the Super Saturday, and then waking up at before 4 a.m. to catch a flight at 6 a.m. back to Houston on Sunday. I was running on like no sleep for the last three days, exhausted, ready to fall asleep at the table. Not really, but pretty close. And I didn't want to do anything to do with anything to do with anything that was effortful. But this man that was our waiter impressed me so much with how he treated us and how he cared about us and how he wanted us to save money, even though it was his bill that he was getting. He wanted us to save money, package everything, so we were, you know, paying the, I guess, basically the lease for all the food we could get, and being excellent in what he did. I had to give him an opportunity. And see, that's the mindset. I, I saw something in him so valuable that I was forced to give him an opportunity, you know, so look for, you know, ways to compliment people. Don't just, I mean, Obviously, you want to share this with everybody, but don't just throw your opportunity around like it's nothing. You know, look for people with qualities that you're looking for, right? But that's not my main point of the day. We met today, and uh, he, he had no idea what I was contacting him about, but I called him the next day, and I just said, hey, you know, I really appreciated your skill set, and uh, I listened to his needs. Turns out his father has is, uh, cancer, and he's going through chemotherapy, and he's working three jobs to support his parents because they're very much older, uh, and he's... I think late 20s, but he's, his parents are much older in their 60s and 70s. And uh, I just said, you know what? I'd really like to help you. you know, so I came from a completely different position of, I've got something you need. Like I've got, or I didn't say, you know, I've got something that, you know, I need you to see. No, like I came from the, per, the posture of, I've got something that I know can help you with your needs and goals. And that's not the point of my message either. The point of my message was this, okay? See, we all must know what to do. We all must know uh, what to say and the stories and the three-way calls and the techniques and the facts and the figures and the information. But what's so important is people buy you. They don't necessarily, they buy the product of course, they buy the facts, they buy the stories, but they buy you. It's not so much what you're sharing, but what is being shared behind what is shared? What's your energy? What's your posture? What's your intention? How are you coming at that person? I came at that person with, I see something so valuable in you. I've got to help you. Let me listen to your needs and goals. Okay, here they are. I have something that can help you. And one thing he said to me was so powerful when we were sitting down. He came and met me at Starbucks and we just had a casual, nice conversation. How are you? How'd you like the information? So on and so forth. And we just casually talked about the business no business presentation like obviously not like a official flip chart presentation just talking just sharing facts and figures and stories about the information and answering his questions and that's what's so powerful about sending somebody a link before you meet with them i sent him the conference call i did on june 10th you can get that link if you message me for it or you can send them our company info whatever to fill their details in and then meet with them in person but here's what was most powerful to me he said i love how you're just so casual about this you're letting me ask the questions. You're not the one hammering me and drilling me. That's how I know you're not trying to sell me something. You're actually interested in what I want to know and in me really because if you're trying to sell me something, you would be just pushing and shoving information down my throat and continually asking me questions and you know coming at me. And see guys, you must be assertive and you must be direct and you must you know, know how to position conversations to ask the right questions and lead the conversation in the right direction. But your overall level of, I guess, particip participation behind the, the business should be, you know, this business is the greatest business ever. We've got this and it should be relaxed. You should have a calm, relaxed posture, right? Where you're just there to help them get all their information answered. And he said, I just love how you're letting me ask the questions, but the way that that was is because the positioning of it beforehand. Instead of me trying to push something on him, I said, wow, you've got such a skill set. I've got to share something with you. And wow, I've listened to all your needs and goals. I know I have something that can help you. 
not, hey, you look really great, why don't you join my business? That kind of thing, right? And once he heard the information, I just said, so what questions do you have? What do you need to know? And he shared that with me, guys. So instead of you selling them, it's them pursuing you. It's a completely different thing. And guess what? He filled out an application for a silver pack. And as soon as he gathers the funds, he's going to go ahead and get started. In fact, I told him to pre-sell, make calls today, sell all 16, 20 boxes or whatever for a silver pack, and then collect the money up front and purchase it, guys. That's how it's done. It, it doesn't have to be the perfect way. It's the way I do it, and it works. Don't listen to it because I said it. Listen to it, see what applies to you, and be the best you that you can be applying this information. Tell stories, three-way calls, utilize the upline, present, know your uh, opportunity is great, have posture, but relax and let people sell you on them, not you sell them on you on the business. Let's keep it OG, God bless.